what's up everybody it's Hobbs here and uh, coming at you I was doing another out and about video I want to go over some things here and I want to be as candid as possible there may be some vulgarity here so if this isn't something that you like to hear or if you are someone that gets offended easily I probably would not listen to any of this conversation. I'm just being 100 um, There's an incident that happened today that caused me almost to lose it and if I wasn't in a certain position I would have definitely shown who I truly am you know if I get to that point and there's good and there's positive and there's bad the positive is self-healing has come a long way for me because after what happened today and the way that it happened I would have either walked away from the situation angrily and not had a resolution or I would have went off about the situation and my Irish temper would have got the best of me and the situation which that's the negative side of it in dealing with certain people one or more people I'm not going to discuss who or what the situation was because I know people that know me on this channel, but the situation could have involved multiple people, but it infuriated me so much to the point where, you know, I almost had to step away for a while today. And the positive is I didn't. I didn't tuck my tail and run. I stuck with it. And to me, that's growth, you know, and this is real talk. You know, I've grown so much over the last year that things that don't affect me or that I have no control over don't affect me the way that they used to. And I just want to say that that feels good. But I almost lost it today. I almost went over the deep end. And sometimes people don't realize how they treat other people and no I will never throw out names about this but if you feel in life that you getting off by treating other people inferior to you makes you happy then you have serious problems whether that be one person, a group, or multiple people. In fact, if you're someone that likes to be like that, get the fuck off my channel. I don't want to know you. I don't want to be around you. If you think manipulating and controlling people because you can makes you better than me or better than the people around me, I got nothing for you. Again, sorry to be vulgar, but I'm hot right now. And that is just how it is. And I'm not even going to give the date on when this happened because this may not have been today. If this video has been recorded a couple days ago, I'm not going to give the date because it's that personal. But if you are somebody or a group of people, which this could have been a group of people, that feels because you have the ability to have power over other people that you can just say to them and do whatever you want to them leave my channel don't be a part of my channel and learn to have respect for other people that's all I'm gonna say I'm gonna put this on both channels if you're like that see ya I don't care I do not care but if you're a group of people 
whether it be friends, relatives, anybody that chooses to treat people in that aspect or that way in life, I've got nothing for you and there's no place for you in my life. And I will not have it. Now the positive. I came out of this situation today, which again, I will not go into the date as to when this date occurred because it's too serious. I come out today proud of myself because I learned that I can move on and I can have self-control. A long time ago, I would not have had that. <laughs> and I am as kind-hearted person as they get. I'll give you the shirt off my back. I'll give you the last two dollars I have to my name. But there's a certain time when you just break. You just, you've had enough, you know? Let me move around. I don't want to park right in front of a pole. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually at an Applebee's parking lot. But these people or individuals in this situation or person in this situation or group I don't think they realize what's going on, you know? And I'm sorry for them and I'll pray for them. But Anyways, enough of the rant. A lot of stuff coming up. We got cooking videos coming. We got paranormal videos coming. We got a lot to come. Tony Baloney, we got you some cooking videos coming, bro. We got paranormal videos coming. We got some EVPs. I got a new intro. Let me know if you guys like the intro. I hope you do. Thank you for sticking with me. I seem to have lost a few subscribers the last couple days. Sorry if I did something specific, but doing my best and uh, hey I know a guy that's gonna be 37 years old here in a couple in a couple weeks maybe by the end of the month so uh, <laughs> trying to get it all together figure out where I'm at in life you know but I appreciate you guys and everything that you do stick with the channel I just wanted to tell my friends the people I care about on this channel if you're around people like that or you act like that, it's not worth it. People do matter. And uh, I will catch up with you guys on the flip. It is Saturday. Enjoy your weekend, and hopefully I will see you all tomorrow. Peace. What's up, guys? Just hanging out here. And uh, this is some bonus footage. I wanted to let you guys know also... If you're out and about and you can't cook and you have a long day, there are some places that are keto friendly, fast food. One of them over there, which is KFC. You can get like a grilled chicken box over there. And then the one that I'm at is Taco Bell because they've got grilled chicken tortillas. And I didn't feel like cooking today, so I just got grilled chicken. But I just get the standard grilled chicken with the cheese, which is ke cheese is keto friendly as well. I don't get nothing on it. I don't get any particular type of sauces or anything like that. And then sometimes I get a Diet Coke, and then other times I'll just get like a, uh, I'll drink one of my Mio drinks with it. I just want to let you guys know that you can eat keto while you're out and about. And that looks really good. I haven't gotten into it yet, but you can definitely do keto. Um, I know that Chick-fil-A has grilled chicken nuggets also, and, uh, see who else, pretty much anywhere, if you just get grilled chicken and light tortilla or salad, you should be good to go, but, uh, sometimes in life you have to go keto while you're out and about, so, anyways, I'm gonna enjoy this taco, I'll catch up with you guys later, peace.